This is a nodule from the Bondock meteorite. And while the outside doesn't look too special, the inside has quite a story to tell. The Bondock meteorite was discovered in the Philippines in 1956 by John Linicki. Now, we don't actually know when it fell. It wasn't an observed fall, but that's when it was found. And it was actually found way down a river in a relatively uninhabited part of the area. And the effort required to get it back to civilization was tremendous. They had caribou trying to pull the thing out. It was a mass of about 2,000 pounds, so a ton of very dense, heavy meteorite. Eventually, they were able to get it out with some heavy machinery. They had to get it onto rafts and transport it down the river. At some point, there was a typhoon that came through that derailed them, and a few people almost died in its transport back to an area of civilization and to where it could be studied. The meteorite itself is scientifically interesting because it is a mesosiderite. I've shown you some of these on my channel before. Mesosiderite is what is created when two different bodies smash into each other, so probably two asteroids. In this case, what we probably have is a piece of the mantle from some differentiated asteroid and a piece of the core of some differentiated asteroid or protoplanet, one being silicates or rock, one being metal, and they smashed into each other, and that's what created the Bondock meteorite, which eventually found its way to Earth. Now, with that said, you may look at this sample I have here and say, where's the rock? All I see is metal. And that's kind of the interesting thing here. We don't know when this meteorite fell, but probably a long, long time ago. And all of the silicates, the rock here, probably weathered away. And all that left was these blebs or these nodules of iron and nickel. That's what you're looking at here. The outer part of that is essentially patinaed or rusted, and the inner part here has been cut and polished and etched so we can see the difference between those iron nickel alloys. While we certainly see a fair number of mesosiderites that have a lot of metal in them compared to the silicates, we haven't really seen a lot of other examples like the Bondock meteorite where we have these big, sizable uh, iron and nickel blebs or these nodules like this, which makes it really fascinating. So when you see this meteorite out amongst collectors, it is these nodules that you typically see. Meteorites are fascinating, not just from a scientific standpoint, but also in terms of their discovery and recovery. I'm really excited to share more of that with you from my collection. Make sure to like and subscribe to follow along.